today we are talking about the power of sealed investing and we're going to start off older and work our way newer we're starting off with evolutions now this is with the context of you know a set is really really good and obviously preface boost sealed booster boxes are always the best investment however we're going to touch on some single packs in this as well and we'll touch on some single cards but i just wanted to float this idea out there for long-term people long-term investments i'm not talking quick flips and before you guys say the eras were different this set was printed into the ground okay it's not hard to figure out right that information is everywhere i was not back in the hobby yet at this time but that information is readily available they printed this set into the absolute ground and obviously it's not hard to figure out um i mean like currently you know like in scarlet and violet this might be hard to figure out what the best set is because they're not all out so uh, and i think the best set has yet to come but with the sets that have already released this is what i want to talk about see this chart right here even in the last three months you know it's up 35 bucks but if you pull back a year okay one year you could have picked this up for 753 and we're already up to 836 now you have to understand that i'm talking about in the context of 10 years down the road five ten years down the road right these boxes will continue to rise and these are the most popular ones okay it's just um something that i've been thinking about of picking up some of these older boxes before they are just unobtainable uh, you know i mean not unobtainable but like we we could just get one box maybe and just and you won't want to because they'll be so expensive right but we're gonna we're look we're gonna look at a few more boxes and we'll see like kind of where things can go and i know that some things were different right but we'll just take a look at some of these single cards too i just wanted to touch on a few cards that are up from the set not very much but this dragonite ex i like this card so that's why i just wanted to talk about it it's up just a little bit no, you know we're not going to touch on that too much but this uh the the mega charizard ex full art 46 dollars three months ago or sorry 42 and it's up to 46 once again not the biggest gains but we're just seeing a little bit of gains on some of these cards uh same with the blastoise 20 up to 26 just want to touch on that real quick this is mainly about sealed now we've touched on this in the past but this is just the same concept now i know that this set is different as well this was not heavily printed okay so this is a little bit more of an outlier but it's the con the the concept is on this three month chart you know you could have got a box for two grand and now we're up to 23 almost 2400 look at the average price the average listed price is three grand this is only going to go up <laughs> okay we'll pull back to the one year and this is the point i'm trying to make if you look at this one year chart 1600 you could have picked up a box for 1600 dollars, and look where we're at now in just one year so what i'm getting at is with these two sets that we've already looked at easily identifiable as either the best or the most popular sets from their respective eras already identified you don't have to figure it out you don't have to guess the investment is a lot more expensive but the gains are proven so um i just it's just something that i just I think needs to be talked about a little bit more i do think that these are safe investments moving forward you know and then something else we're going to talk about say you don't have 2400 dollars to spend on a box well if we go oh, sorry about that if you want to just get packs and i know i said booster boxes are always the best i know but you can sell packs they might be harder to sell but you can get a pack here a pack there right and you can at three months we're up we're up it's still not big gains but we're up consistently 50 to 52 dollars you look at the one year same thing with packs you could have got this pack for 35 and you're up to 52 so those are decent gains just from buying packs buy a pack here buy a pack there right find some reputable sellers you got to be careful with some of these more expensive boxes and packs okay that's that's a given with anything so buy from reputable sellers only but just Proven sets are proven winners. That's what this is about. Also, also, we'll just touch on some other cards here while we're, while we're here. Three months ago, you know, the Latios, uh, Latias, it's not up 
a crazy amount either, but in three months it has gone up. Uh, you know, you can see obviously we're not at the we're not at the one year high for this card, but you know, just some cool cards. Um, I like touching on them. Now this card's uh, got a little bit more movement here. You know, it's only up twenty bucks in on this little uh, chart here, but two seventy five to two ninety five, and then if we if we pull up the one year, obviously it's down from the one year, but uh, seeing some movement as of late. So, you know, once again, this isn't about the cards. I just wanted to touch on them while we're here. Uh, this card, same thing. I kind of feel like I almost like this one more personally. Uh, anyways, a lot more affordable, but this card, you, this card's had a pretty crazy run up. Um, 48 to over doubled to 110. So, um, man, so, you know, even the, the singles, this is an example of pull out the one year, you know, you could have, you could have gotten in in the thirties, almost in the high twenties, right? 31 right here in, in the one tens. So it uh, looks like this card might be coming down a little, you know, the average price is down. So I don't know if this was a buyout or what, uh, I'm not super following like some of this older market, like every single day. I'm not, you know, I do my research and I make a video and on uh, some of this older stuff. I'm the modern stuff is where I'm like dialed in, but um, yeah, the older stuff not as much. But I just want to show you some singles while we're here, and then I know we're gonna talk about another set we always talk about, but I have to. So this is what I'm talking about. This relates to the last two sets because you know that this is the Golden Child from Sword and Shield, and I know it's a lot of money, but. Look at the three month chart, 676, and we're back up to 700, okay? Now, pull up the one year. This is again, what I'm talking about, 390, 394 to 700 in one year. What is this gonna be in five years? What is this gonna be in 10 years? Okay, you see these prices? I'm just gonna bring something up again real quick. You see these prices? <laughs> that is that that is the whole entire point of this video is this these boxes are being opened all the time. Supply is diminishing. I know there's people who have lots of boxes of this, but if you if you want possibly the safest bet to grow from one of the best sets it's evolving skies. Anyways, I'm not, I'm trying to get off my soapbox here, but I just wanted to make this video just a little bit different of just older sealed established stuff that's popular. Now, obviously you can find older boxes that are very expensive, but that don't hardly ever sell. And that's why I'm talking about these three sets in particular, because they're selling every day or maybe not every day for this, like every other day. I mean, there's lots of sales all the time, consistently. So, Evolving Skies, I think, it, even at this price, it, even if we have a downturn, a little bit of a downturn, it's just gonna, it's just gonna keep stair-stepping up long-term. And I'm talking long-term, so you guys have to keep that in mind. Also, same, same story. I like sleeved uh, boosters if I'm gonna get single packs just me personally, but here's the one year chart for, you could have got these at nine bucks and we're almost doubled. It's kind of pretty much followed the booster box price exactly. Um, so just, if you don't want to get a whole box, get a few packs, okay? I don't care what people say that, uh, you can sell these or just keep them, whatever you want to do, they're good investments, okay? Uh, they're better than just the, the raw booster packs, okay? Uh, then also this is just an interesting thing I saw on TCG player. It's kind of cool. If you want to pick up, it's, it comes out to roughly quite close to the same pricing. But if you wanted to get two sets of the complete artwork here, you got an eight pack available on TCG player. Say, uh, didn't quite double in price. It's a little different here, but eighty-eight dollars up to one twenty. Although current market's closer to around one forty, so closer to doubling and listed around one one fifty-nine. So. Uh, this could be, if you guys want to get into some Evolving Skies, you can have an art set to keep, you can have an art set to sell. Um, if it keeps, if it doubles again within the next year, then you would have, you could sell one and your your personal set's paid for. Lower barrier to entry. I just wanted to 
just wanted to make this video just wanted to touch on something a little different and um also i try and be transparent on here i have sleeved boosters i do not have an evolving skies booster box i'm trying to not put my money where my mouth is and get a box right now because i'm really close to just pulling the trigger and getting a box just to sit on but with the Team Rocket set coming out and some of these other sets, I'm thinking about saving my money more for that and getting more boxes of some of these new sets if they turn out to be crazy. But I don't know. That's just where I'm at. So keep in mind that I'm telling you this, but I do not currently own an Evolving Skies booster box. Uh, I got too many other investments and things going other places currently. But by the time this video comes out, I, I might pull the trigger. I've been looking, so I, I don't really know <laughs> where I'm going to stand, but um, I'm at least going to pick up some more sleeved just because I need some more, you know, at least pick up some more sleeve. That's what I'm going to do for sure. No brainer there. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I will stop rambling. I'll get off my soapbox, but I uh, hope you guys took something good away from this. And if you're this far in the video, 11 minutes in, you obviously enjoyed the content. So do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys agree or don't agree, and let me know if you have any of these sets or are going to pick up any of these sets. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and remember, it was never a phase.